From Maryville to coverage across the country, a girl's accusations of sexual assault made headlines when she said she was harassed after speaking out. A special prosecutor even looked into this case, and today at a news conference in Maryville, Jean Peters Baker said no rape charges would be filed. Team coverage begins tonight with Garrett Haig, who attended that news conference today. Garrett. Two years ago, the mother of the victim opened her front door and found her 14-year-old daughter drunk and unconscious on her front lawn. Every day from that day to this, that case has dominated their lives, and tonight they're hoping they can finally put it behind them. A case that grabbed national attention and drew hundreds of activists to this courthouse for a rally last fall ended today with just two words. Yes, sir, 19-year-old Matthew Barnett told a judge. He understood he was pleading guilty to one count of child endangerment. The sexual assault charges filed against him in 2012 then dropped amid accusations his politically connected family had them swept away would not be refiled. The special prosecutor appointed to the case last October explained. And my job is to analyze evidence. In this case, it was there was insufficient evidence to go forward on a sexual assault. Barnett's lawyer went further. There's absolutely no evidence that political favoritism played a role in the decision of either prosecutor. He said his client would abide by the conditions of his probation, no alcohol, 100 hours of community service, and an apology and restitution to the family to cover counseling costs. The victim's mother says her daughter has been the target of vicious online bullying since that night two years ago, pushing them out of town and her daughter to twice attempt to take her own life. Today, neither mother nor daughter came to Maryville, but the victim sent a statement in support of today's decision with the prosecutor. To all of those who supported me, I promise that what happened on January the 8th of 2012 will not define me forever. Tonight, both families are asking for privacy, hoping to finally heal and move on. Reporting live in Maryville, Garrett Hake, 41 Action News.